Welcome to another Noble Review Session for students of AP Microeconomics. In this video, we're going to talk about the concept of marginal revenue product and how it relates to perfectly competitive resource markets, or in this case, a perfectly competitive labor market. The marginal revenue product of an economic resource is the demand for an economic resource. So it's the demand for labor. If there's an increase in the product demand, there'll be an increase in the demand for the resources used to create the product. That's an increase in marginal revenue product. That's also known as derived demand. Derived demand is the demand for an economic resource. If there's an increase in the productivity of an economic resource, there'll be an increase in the demand for that specific resource or an increase in marginal revenue product. So remember, when we say marginal revenue product, or MRP, we are just referring to the demand for an economic input, or resource, or factor. The marginal revenue product is equal to the change in total revenue divided by the change in number of inputs. We can also find the MRP by taking the marginal product, or marginal physical product, and multiplying that by the marginal revenue. So if we're working with a perfectly competitive product market, it would be equal to the marginal product times the price. That would give us marginal revenue product. When graphing a perfectly competitive resource market, such as labor, it is a good idea to graph the market for the resource and the firm hiring the resource side by side. Because you want to show that the resource market is going to set the wage and the firm is going to take the wage from the resource market. So we have the supply of workers and the demand for workers in the labor market, which is perfectly competitive. The equilibrium wage gets sent to the firm. That wage is the firm's supply of labor, or the marginal factor cost of hiring one more worker. And the firm will maximize its profits by hiring labor up to the point where the marginal factor cost is equal to the marginal revenue product or you want the marginal revenue product to be greater than the marginal factor cost. So the MRP equals MFC rule is the most important rule when it comes to maximizing profits in a resource market. It tells us how many units of an economic resource to employ. Well that wraps up this Noble Review session on perfectly competitive resource markets and the concept of marginal revenue product. Remember the MRP curve slopes downward because of the law of diminishing marginal returns. Just like the marginal product curve is shaped the way it is because of the law of diminishing marginal returns. That's one of the most important laws in all of microeconomics. Thanks for watching and good luck.